So when someone like Cracker Barrel, when a company like Cracker Barrel does stuff like this, it's a weather vane. It tells you there's a shift in the wind. lighter topic let's go ahead and get get something a little less bleak on the table all right is that like a plan i think it's a plan so we are going to be talking about cracker barrel of all things now <laughs> i'm white i love cracker barrel i think cracker barrel is great look at this face this is the face of a white guy who loves cracker barrel so we need to talk about how uh apparently it's uh, <laughs> apparently it's going woke i guess God, I didn't know it was a thing that was happening. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. But first, let's get into the fan art section. The first one we have here is from Anubian. You should have thought about what you said. I am the foot love vessel. What in the Cooney is that? Why is that a thing? The foot love vessel. Foot love vessel. I don't... Why feet? Why? I'm moving on to the next one. This one is from... Stuff. This may be the most lewd image ever made. I am spoiling it for everyone's safety. Content warning. Dare I even say it? Warning for hand-holding the lewdest act ever drawn. Yeah, I, I held hands with Saki at the airport. I, I didn't mean to, you know, get her pregnant on day one. That's not the one in the image. But, you know, that's that'd be my friend Haku. That all said, as always, everybody, thank you all for your fan art submissions. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future video, the best way to do so is to drop it into the fan art section of the Discord. With that all said, let's go ahead and talk about Cracker Barrel, because I like barrels, and I eat crackers. And I can't say anything else about that joke, because I don't want to get banned on Twitch! Because apparently that's where it's also a slur, according to Twitch, because they're smarticles. Anyway, anyway, Cracker Barrel, once anti-gay, celebrates, celebrates pride and haters flip. The Cracker Barrel chain of family restaurants surprised many when it posted a positive pride message on its Facebook account. Of course, because it's a corporation. They know that they will get a lot more money if they can get the gays involved. But... The company, based in Lebanon, Tennessee, and a staple of the South and suburban America for over 50 years, responded to positive tweets about its Facebook post, where they said, We are excited for Pride Month with our employees and guests. Everyone is always welcome at our table and our rainbow rocker. Happy Pride. So let's go and talk about rainbow capitalism for a second before we go any further. Rainbow capitalism is a good thing. It's a good thing. There's no way to deny it's a good thing. Like, it's, if you have the options of the companies not, not talking about rainbow shit, or yes, talking about rainbow shit, talking about it is better. Because when companies see that they can make more money off of not only a minority group, but also the advocates of that minority group, that means that that group is in a better position than they would have been otherwise. It is not considered, you know, unanimous persona non grata for a company to do that. Think about how fucked a company would have been in the 30s, right? If a company in the 30s had a, 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 a open sign saying mixed color seating for everyone, when shit like that happened, when it hit the news, places would get in trouble because it was the norm to segregate your eating areas, your areas of going to the bathroom, your water fountains. That was considered the norm. Breaking out of that was considered harder to do because it was considered normal to be, you know, flaming bigots. So when someone like Cracker Barrel, when a company like Cracker Barrel does stuff like this, it's a weather vane. It tells you there's a shift in the wind. Makeru says, okay, maybe a good thing, but I can still not like the company. Uh, cool, D you're allowed to not like companies. I don't give a flying shit if you don't like a company. I don't care. I'm saying it's objectively a good thing. The company, based in Lebanon, da -da -da -da, we already read that part, uh, quite shocked that Cracker Barrel, which is based out of Lebanon, Tennessee, 
just shared this. Then Cracker Barrel goes, thanks for sharing. Our team takes pride in creating a welcoming, safe atmosphere where people can enjoy time with family and friends the moment you walk through our doors. The restaurant chain, known as much for its quirky gift shop and addicting uh, peg solitaire games. I, you can't do solitaire pegging. Pegging requires a friend or a partner or an orgy. Not as much for its quirky gift shops and those words. Uh, and it's stick to your ribs fair. Yeah, it's, it's very fattening. They've actually been celebrating pie, pride and pushing rainbow-themed products for the last few years. Many people still remember the company's intolerant past when they openly discriminated against LGBTQ employees in the early 1990s and fired several gay workers. In response, LGBTQ activists descended on Cracker Barrel restaurants in protest of their policy for promoting heterosexual values. The policy was discontinued soon after the company had continued to make positive strides. Oh, and soon after, the company has continued to make positive strides. It currently holds an 80 out of 100 on the Human Rights Campaign's Corporate Equality Index. Is that supposed to be solitaire? I just made patterns with the pegs as a child. Well, Ivana, maybe you're built different. The evolution of Cracker Barrel remains news to many, especially conservatives, who, not surprisingly, voice dismay after the Facebook post. The Texas Family Project going, We take no pleasure in reporting that Cracker Barrel has fallen. A once family-friendly establishment has caved to the mob. The fuck kind of fucked post is that? Jesus Christ. As of press time, Cracker Barrel has not succumbed to the anti-LGBTQ mob that has taken aim at other corporations voicing support for the queer community like Budweiser and Target. What is going on? Why does any of this matter? It's a bunch of rainbows on rockers. That's it. It's rainbows on rockers. Yes, it is. Anyways... It is, it, it, it's nothing. It's literally a nothing burger. And yet somehow people get pissed off about it. It's like, remember when Chick-fil-A hired a, a representative for diversity? Two years ago? And only now, when it's June, and it's trendy to bitch about it, did conservatives understand, oh, right, that, that's the thing that happened. We can, we can get mad that, you know, Chick-fil-A hired a representative for diversity. That's the thing to get mad about now, because it's June, and it's Pride Month, and therefore it's time to get mad about something that happened years ago, instead of, you know, when it fucking happened. It's because none of this matters. It's all a show. It is 100% a show. This, the, the people that it's aimed at are the people who want to hate gay people, want to hate trans people, and, you know, if you, if, you, if you scratch the skin a little too hard, you might find people who also hate black people. You might. It might take you a little bit, but I guarantee you, you can scratch a couple layers away and you'll find that. Nitro, thank you for redeeming your points from all of Liska Dave Abbott, thank you for redeeming your points from Arara. You fucking DGens. As always. Jim Chin says, it's almost like some people want everyone upset about Nothing Burger so they don't get upset about real issues. Yes. Duh. It's a smokescreen. That I, I, I need to make a video, and I'm, I'm planning on making a video at some point, about how culture war shit is a smokescreen. The entire point of culture war shit is to get people mad about stuff that corporations are doing that doesn't matter, stuff that is happening in movies that doesn't matter. Oh no, Gwen might be trans in the Spider-Man movie? Who the fuck cares? She's not real. Who the fuck cares? She isn't real. She can't peg you. It doesn't matter. Oh no, Aragorn is Black in the new Lord of the Rings set for Magic the Gathering? Who the fuck cares? He's not real. None of it's real. And yet you people think it fucking matters. And somehow, in all of that, you know what's been happening? You know what's been happening? You know what's actually been going on? It's been getting harder for trans people to get HRT. States have been pushing the line on whether or not they can allow gay marriage anymore. It's been getting harder for people to get gender markers on their licenses. You know so that they can have legal protections. It's been getting harder for minority groups to actually live. Meanwhile, conservatives are making even leftists focus on stuff like this because it creates the click cycle. It creates the cycle of 
growth on channels. Meanwhile, people like Aaron Reed focus almost entirely on the bills that are being pushed forward. And, I mean, this is probably one of the reasons why I've tried to do both. I try to focus on bills and the stuff that I know pulls in views so that some of the content will spill over. Some of the people who watch the more quirky, hey, we're bitching about a Cracker Barrel going woke video will spill over to the stuff that actually matters. <sighs> There's another video I'll be doing on this. We'll figure that video out when it happens. But for now, this is that rant in, in, in microcosm. So nevertheless, I curse misfortunate face shrinker Kirk. I do so. So do I need to step in or would it be better that you all stop? Hold on. Let's see here. That's a conversation for me to worry about later. That's a conversation for me to worry about later. I guess the, 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 the thing with this video, the takeaway, is conservatives getting angry about shit that doesn't matter, it's a double-edged sword. It's funny to laugh at. It's hilarious. Dear God, people putting this as something that is so important. People who think that it is so important to deal with a trans person on a Bud Light bottle, a, a rainbow on a rocking chair. It's funny to make fun of them. It's hilarious. They're idiots. They're they're literal. They, they won't get laid. It's funny. But at the same time, it's also important to note that that's the smokescreen. You can spend your time making fun of them and laughing at them. That's fine. But also pay attention to the real shit that's actually really happening in the real world. See what bills are being proposed in your states. Talk to your state legislators. Do something. As always, everybody, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And insert end of video tagline here. <laughs>